All right, let's have a chat about what it's like being a part of Generation Z and Millennials. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded, except someone keeps adding more twists and turns. Amidst the typical challenges of self-discovery and fitting in, we're burdened by the weight of financial struggles and stereotypes imposed by older generations. Before we jump into today's discussion, hit that subscribe button below. Stay updated on all our future videos covering vital topics. Let's dive in. So check this out. According to Pew Research, millennials and Gen Zers are dealing with some major financial gaps. It's mind-blowing to see that the median net worth of millennials is a staggering 40% lower than what baby boomers had at the same age. That's just not cool, right? And let's not even broach the subject of the cost of living. Housing expenses have surged by 61%, healthcare costs by a staggering 145%, and the price of college tuition? Hold on to your seats, it's skyrocketed by an astonishing 213% since 1990. It's no wonder we're feeling the squeeze. But let's dig deeper. Contrary to prevalent assumptions, it's not a matter of younger generations being lazy or reckless with finances. Here's the crux of it. Younger generations, including Gen Z and Millennials, are often tagged with the label of the soft generation. However, let's dissect that notion for a moment. The reality is, they're not soft. They're sensitive in a different sense. Unlike preceding generations, Gen Z and Millennials are deeply attuned to social and environmental issues. They're fervent about affecting positive change in the world, vocalizing concerns about climate change, social justice, and mental health. But rather than being celebrated for their empathy and compassion, they're frequently dismissed as overly sensitive or fragile. This stereotype fails to acknowledge the fortitude and resilience that emanate from caring deeply about societal well-being. Research indicates that younger generations are more inclined to volunteer, contribute to charitable causes, and advocate for issues they hold dear. They're unafraid to challenge the status quo, even in the face of criticism or opposition. So why the prejudice? Perhaps it stems from a fear of change or a misconception about the essence of sensitivity. In a society that often extols toughness and stoicism, traits like empathy and compassion may be misconstrued as weaknesses. But what if sensitivity isn't a weakness at all, but a strength? What if caring deeply about others and the planet is precisely what our world needs amidst myriad challenges? Instead of branding younger generations as soft, maybe we should laud them for their empathy, resilience, and determination to foster a better world for all. Because let's face it, those are the qualities that bring about real change. In fact, upon closer scrutiny of the data, a different narrative emerges. Despite facing formidable hurdles, we're not idly standing by. Quite the contrary, we're hitting the books harder than ever. Statistics from the Bureau of Labor Statistics underscore that a greater proportion of us possess degrees compared to previous generations at our age. The truth is, younger generations confront economic hurdles of unparalleled magnitude. They contend with lower earnings, soaring debt levels, and the arduous quest for stable employment in an increasingly cutthroat job market. Despite being armed with education, securing a decent job feels akin to chasing a mythical creature. A report from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York highlights that we're less likely to secure employment compared to previous generations at our age, often ensnared in part-time roles or precarious gig economy jobs. So, while some may perceive us as delicate snowflakes, the reality is, we're grappling with formidable challenges. Nevertheless, we're not throwing in the towel. We're persevering, striving to make the most of our circumstances, and perhaps paving the path for a brighter tomorrow. If you're feeling what I'm saying, hit that subscribe button now to show some love for our millennial channel. Reflecting on an ancient Greek proverb, a society flourishes when elderly individuals plant trees under whose shade they will never sit. It's got me thinking, are we living up to that? For the first time ever, younger generations aren't expected to outdo our parents financially. The American dream feels like it's slipping through our fingers. It serves as a stark reminder. The notion of each generation surpassing its predecessor's prosperity appears to be waning rather than inheriting a more prosperous future. Younger generations shoulder economic burdens that appear insurmountable. It's not just about money, it's about the opportunities we're missing out on. So, where did we drop the ball? Did we not invest enough in education and infrastructure? Were we too focused on short-term gains instead of long-term sustainability? 
Citing a study by the Federal Reserve, millennials earn 20% less than baby boomers did at a similar life stage. Housing presents another hurdle. A report by the Urban Institute reveals that millennials are less inclined to own homes compared to prior generations at the same age, with home ownership among young adults declining by 9%. And let's not overlook the issue of student loan debt. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York notes that the average student loan debt for millennials has skyrocketed to over $30,000. Coupled with the escalating cost of education, many millennials grapple with repaying loans while endeavoring to save for the future. Furthermore, the job market presents formidable challenges. Despite boasting the highest levels of education in history, millennials encounter a tough job market characterized by rampant underemployment and job instability. As per the Bureau of Labor Statistics, millennials are more susceptible to being ensnared in part-time or contractual positions compared to previous generations. Now, factoring in Gen Z amplifies the complexity. Gen Z enters the workforce amid a global pandemic that has upended industries and precipitated widespread job losses. A survey by the National Association of Colleges and Employers indicates that 73% of employers have axed internships or transitioned them to virtual platforms, exacerbating the struggle for Gen Z to gain invaluable work experience. So when we take a good look at the numbers, it's pretty clear that millennials and Gen Z are facing some serious challenges when it comes to money. Finding a place to live, dealing with student loans, and snagging a decent job. But despite all these obstacles, they're showing some real grit and determination to push through. With the right help and some smart policies, they've got what it takes to carve out a brighter future for themselves and the next bunch coming up. But here's the kicker. The idea of climbing the ladder, of doing better than our folks did, seems to be slipping away. It's not just about cash, it's about the shrinking chances and opportunities staring us in the face. So, where did we go wrong? Did we drop the ball on investing in education and building up our infrastructure? Were we too fixated on quick wins instead of setting up stuff for the long haul? But no matter how we got here, one thing's for sure, we've got to do better. We owe it to the next bunch to plant the seeds of progress now, to make some sacrifices today for a better tomorrow. Now, it's not going to be a cakewalk. It's going to take some gutsy moves, some real backbone, and a willingness to face some harsh truths. But if we want to bring back the American dream and make it real for everyone, we've got to step up. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to it. Let's plant those trees, not just for us, but for the future crew. That's what real progress looks like. A society that's not just surviving for today, but thriving for tomorrow and beyond. So what's the game plan? We're talking some major changes, folks. To turn things around, we've got to shake things up from the ground up. First off, education. Let's make it so everyone can get a shot at it, no matter where they're from or what their wallet looks like. It's time to level the playing field and give every kid a fair shot at success. And while we're at it, let's talk about the minimum wage. I mean, come on, it's 2024 and folks are still struggling to get by on minimum wage? That's just not right. We gotta bump it up to a livable wage so people can actually thrive, not just scrape by. And let's not forget about standing up for workers' rights. It's high time we start treating folks with the dignity and respect they deserve. That means fair pay, safe working conditions, and the freedom to speak up without fearing any backlash. But here's the thing. We have to change the way we talk about this. Instead of blaming younger folks for all the money troubles, let's work on creating a society where everyone gets a fair shot. We're all in this together, folks. It's going to take some real teamwork and honest talks. But if we want to make things better for the next crew, we got to get our hands dirty and start making moves. So let's keep asking the hard questions and pushing for change. Because if we want to make tomorrow brighter for the next generation, we got to work together on this. Thanks for jumping in today. Don't forget to smash that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and hit subscribe for more real talk. Let's make some waves together. Catch you in the next one.